welcome back to another video of Paradox 0398, and in this video, we're going to be playing Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2, and about two, three weeks ago, they came out with the 2020 Christmas update, uh, and they added a bunch of gifts in, and there's actually one item that you can't get anymore because it was only here for like three days, which I wasn't expecting, so I'm going to have to buy some from Jacob, because he got like 50, and I only got like 10, because I wasn't expecting them to go away so fast, but... Anyways, this is a full update guide on the Christmas 2020 Lumber Tycoon 2 update. And, by the way, I just might as well say right now, uh, some of the gifts that I'm going to be showing in this video are the gifts that are in Lumber Tycoon 2 as of the time of this recording. Now, there's they might add one more, or maybe two more. They might add a few more gifts, or just one more gift. They might not. If they do add... Uh, any more gifts uh, into lumber before Christmas or anything, or just at all? Uh, I'm gonna make like a like part two, like a real short video, like a little part two showing the gift and how to get the gift. Uh, but uh, at least as of the time that I'm recording this, these are the gifts that they have in the update. But anyways, this is a full update guide. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So uh, I might as well just tell you right off the. Right off at the beginning here, this is the only thing that you can't really get anymore, at least at the time, as of the time that I'm recording this, uh, and probably as of the time that I'm uploading this as well. You can only get this from buying it from other players, but it was only here for three days. It's the turkey leftovers. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, as that's why I said I'm going to have to buy a bunch from Jacob because I want to get a bunch more, but I only got ten since I wasn't expecting them to get rid of them so soon, and I didn't get enough. But, uh, anyways, you can't get these, uh, like, from any of the NPCs in game anymore, at least. So, let's go ahead and I'll show you the, all like, all of the gifts that they have added. Actually, I'm not going to show you them... The, the ones that I have, I'm just going to drive. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have the starting point at Wood R Us because you spawn right in front of Wood R Us. Uh, so, just from Wood R Us, just starting off at the beginning here, right? Right in front of Wood R Us, you spawn right there. You're just going to want to go straight into Wood R Us because <laughs> the first two gifts are actually in Wood R Us. Uh, gift number one here, you have the Spooky Deep Earth Gift, and it costs $32,089, and the description for it is E-R-O. Uh, I'm, by the way, some guesses for what each gift is going to be. Like, most likely, this is going to be some sort of axe. I'm not sure what axe it's going to be, uh, but, um, it's most likely to be an axe. That's what I think it's going to be, and that's what most people think, because they usually add a axe gift with this gift model into What Are Us every every Christmas. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy that for thirty-two thousand dollars, of course. So that's likely the Spooky Deep Earth gift right here. This is likely to be some sort of axe. Again, I'm not sure because you can't open them yet. You, by the way, uh, quick thing. Uh, you can't open any of these gifts until Christmas Day, or until after Christmas Day. Like, like these gifts that are currently in the game, like all the other gifts you can open, but when they first add gifts, like towards the beginning of December, you can't open them, you can only buy them. You can buy them and, you know, take them to your plot or whatever, but you cannot open them until Christmas Day or after, which I will be making a video on that and showing you what is inside the gifts on Christmas Day, so stay tuned for that. But uh, next up here, uh, right below the uh, Spooky Deep Earth gifts here, we have the gift with green candy cane stripes. It costs $128, which is actually not, not bad at all. Uh, well, it might be a little bit expensive for newer players that only have like a thousand or whatever, but in comparison to the, all, all the other gifts, I believe this, that this is the cheapest. But the description is, the gift has stripes that resemble a green candy cane. Now, likely, this is going to be a candy cane, uh, but instead of red stripes, it's going to be green stripes. Uh, they Because, uh, I forgot when, but I think a few years ago, they added a gift just like it, uh, with like the same model, 
Uh, but instead it was like candy cane stripes, but red. And inside of it was a red striped candy cane. So likely, because this is the same gift model and it is green candy cane striped uh, gift. That's what it's called, the, the gift with green candy cane stripes. So it's likely to be a green striped candy cane rather than a red striped candy cane. Just because it has the same gift model and, you know, the description kind of tells you basically. But again, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, this is just what I believe they're going to be. But I'm not sure. I don't know until I can open them on Christmas Day or after. Okay, next up, again, starting from What Are Us, uh, you're going to want to follow the road going this way, away from What Are Us, past the land store. You're going to want to follow the road until you get to this bridge here. And then you're going to want to go ahead and chat with Saranok here and lower the bridge for $100. <clears throat> if the bridge is already lowered, then you can just go ahead and drive right across it. But just a fair warning, uh, it might go back up before, uh, before you can come back across it the other direction that we're going now, the opposite direction that we're going now. So just make sure you have, uh, you know, over $100 when you're on your way back. Uh, to go across the bridge. But anyways, you're just going to want to... Oops, uh, my game lagged there a little bit. Okay, anyways, you're just going to want to go across the bridge and follow this road right here until you can turn right here. And you're going to want to turn right onto this road. And you are going to want to take a left right here. And you are at Fancy Furnishings. And they have two gifts in here. One, they have the fabulous gift. It costs $220, and it's, the description for it is, it's definitely fabulous. Now, likely, this is going to be a bobblehead, because all gifts with this gift model uh, have been a bobblehead before. But it's just going to be a bobblehead with a different color variant than the other ones, likely. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there. And uh, the only other gift, at least as of this time, in Fancy Furnishings is the teal gift, which costs $7,020, and the description is, you're pretty sure it's teal? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, and this is likely to be a teal ball uh, with a number on it, and if you get a ball with, let's just say, number three on it, then that's the third ball gift that's ever been opened. And the lower the number you have, like, the lower the number, the more expensive it is. So, like, number three is is more expensive than, like, number 100, you know? You get where I'm going here. Just because it's the third one, or, like, the second one, or the first one ever opened. But, um, yeah, anyways. So those are all of the gifts that are in fancy furnishings. And as I was saying, uh, Boxcars is currently closed right now, so I can't get in there and show you. Well, I suppose I could if you do this little camera glitch and then open the door. You can see right here, uh, the Gift of Good Preparedness costs $902, and the description for it is never be caught without one of these when things turn awry. Okay, just to clarify for some people who don't know what Ari means, it's away from appropriate, planned, or expected course. Like, a miss, basically. Like, when things go not as planned, you're gonna want this, I suppose. And that we've never had a gift in lumber before with this gift model, I do not believe. Um, so, I'm, nobody's really sure what this is. But uh, if I can pull my truck up closer, I pull my truck up here, right there. Okay, you know what? This is good enough. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to get easily get in or out. Anyways, so I'm gonna want to go ahead and get in. But you can see that this roughly matches up with the tires, with the wheels of the trucks. Now. My guess is, by the way, uh, another quick thing to mention here, you can see that there's like a tire tread sort of texture here on it. So my guess is it's some sort of wheel accessory, maybe a tire chain. If you don't know what a tire chain is, a tire chain is this chain that's meant to fit over your car or truck or vehicle tires. 
that gives it more grip in the snow and like snowy icy uh, conditions uh, so it could be a tire chain of some sort that's best to be used in uh, the winter biome I'm not 100% sure but um, it's it's it roughly matches up with the size of the tires of the trucks and lumber uh, so it's likely to be some sort of tire accessories and another uh, reason that we think this is because it's in box cars and boxcars it has trailers and trucks uh, so it's likely to be some sort of uh, vehicle accessory if it's in you know the vehicle store so yeah I, unfortunately I can't buy one of those <laughs> because it's closed but uh, you can see it here uh, never be caught without one of these things when things turn R. so that's everything for boxcars and fancy furnishings so, next up is Bob's Shack. Uh, so, basically, I'm going to go ahead and go back to Wood R Us just for clarification, just so that you don't get anything mixed up or anything like that. So, just, I'm going to go ahead and cut until uh, when I'm back to Wood R Us. Okay, so I am back at Wood R Us, and from Wood R Us facing this direction, uh, Wood R Us, you're going to want to just drive straight, follow the road, go past the Wood R Us, of course, go past the land store. Whoops, <laughs> I lagged a little bit there again. And then you're just going to want to follow the road until you get to right here, then you're going to want to lower the bridge for $100, so you just hit, you know, it's a deal or whatever. Uh, but if the bridge is already down like it is right now, uh, of course, just go ahead and drive right across it, but make sure you have enough money to get back across it uh, before you go across it, otherwise you're not going to be able to go back across it. So, from here, you're just going to want to follow the road from the bridge, and then you're going to want to take a right turn here, okay? And you're going to want to take a little left here until you're right at Fancy Furnishings here. Now, you're going to want to go to the left of Fancy Furnishings here, and be careful because there's water on the right here, and if you fall in that water, uh, for, and you stay in the water for too long, you're gonna that it'll kill you. Uh, it only takes like maybe 20 seconds maximum, 15 seconds maybe, for it to kill you. So don't fall in the water, especially because you can't really get your truck back out uh, from here. But anyways, you're just going to want to follow the water on the right without falling in the water, of course. Just basically follow the land here, follow the water here on the right hand side of the map. Uh, until you get to these rocks here, these sort of mountains. And you just follow uh, to the right of the mountains here, and you will come across Bob's Shack right here. And you will see, if you come right inside on the limited stock shelf here, <clears throat> excuse me, you will see right on the limited stock shelf here, the gift of tremendously important knowledge. It costs $604, and the description of it is... This gift makes you look back melancholically. Melancholically. Okay, I said it right. Uh, at your lost youth. Now, if you don't know what melancholically means, it basically means depressing, sad. So basically what this says is this gift makes you look back sadly at your lost youth. Youth means like... Okay, I'll just look up the definition of use just to, to, just, to, just to clarify. I know what it means, but I can't really give a definition because I don't, I don't, I don't know the exact definition. But anyways, youth is the time of life when one is young and often means the time between childhood and adulthood, maturity. In par in parentheses, maturity. It's also defined as the appearance, freshness, vigor, spirit characteristic of one who is young okay so it's just basically it means young your youth that was when you were young but uh, or just kind of like in the past basically so it makes you look back ha sadly at the past uh, and I'm not really sure what this gift is gonna be it's about the right size to be a book in comparison to my robot into in comparison to your avatar uh, but it's it's if it's a book, it's one fat book, that's for sure. Because look how tall it is from bottom to top. It's pretty uh, pretty thick there. But uh, I'm not really sure what this is. I do not believe that this uh, gift model has been in 
any has been has been used for any gifts in lumber before either. But um, yeah, it's in Bob Shack on the limited stock shelf there. You go ahead and buy that real quick. Throw it in my truck. And as of right now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. So there's six total gifts as of right now, and that's how you get all of them. I'm gonna go ahead and head back. Uh, you can just follow the directions backwards of how to get back. Uh, you could go this way, but it takes that way, but it takes a little bit more time. You could just cut right to the road over here, uh, right through like this forest of trees here. But uh, anyways, as of the time that I'm recording this, and probably as of the time that this is uploaded, uh, there's only six gifts, and that's how you get all of them. Uh, but if they do end up adding any more gifts, then I'm going to make like a part two. It's going to be like a real short video just showing you how to get it and where it is uh, and what I think it's probably going to be. But if they do make, if they do come out with any other gifts or items, then I'm going to make like a little part two, a little short part two to this. So stay tuned for that, and if you're not sure if this is all the gifts uh, for this, uh, for Christmas 2020, uh, then go ahead and uh, check out my channel, my videos page on my channel. Make sure that I haven't uploaded anything else about uh, any new gifts or any part two for this video. And if there is a part two that I end up uploading, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the description and in the comment section down below. So just check down there and you'll get a link to any other part twos for this update that I come out with. So let me go ahead and back my truck up here. Can. Okay, there we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and take these into my pile over here. Because, basically what I do is I have this shop here. And what you want to do, even if you don't have a shop that's as big as mine or you just don't have a shop, uh, you're going to want to get as many of these gifts as you can. And don't, I mean, take my advice, but don't blame me if you run out of money or anything. It's all your decision what you do uh, in the game. But what I do and what I suggest you do is you get as many of each gift as you possibly can. Oh, and there's my computer telling me I'm low on storage, I know. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, what I do at least, which is what I suggest doing, is you go and get as many of each gift as you possibly can. And after, like you might only, for example, this gift... Oh, I forgot which, which gift is the cheapest. I think it's the candy cane gift here. Anyways, you... You're just going to want to get them, you know, is it for the cheap price while they're here, while you can still buy them, and save them uh, until after you can't get them anymore, and you can sell them for five times, ten times the price sometimes, depending on what the item is. Uh, and also, with this ball, these ball gifts here, I suggest trying to open them as soon as you can. At 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the game auto-updates and allows you to open the gifts. But with these balls, you're going to want to try and open uh, them as early as you possibly can. Just because the lower the number you get, the more expensive it is. So you can you know, buy, sell it to another player for money or anything like that. So I just try and um, open these as soon as uh, at 5 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, just to get a low numbered ball. Yeah, which is what I'm going to do, I think, most likely. If I wake up in time, that's what I'm going to do. Or even if I don't wake up in time, I'm just going to try and get a, as low of a number as I possibly can. But uh, anyways, those are my suggestions, and that's all that's new with this update as of right now. Again, if uh, there's any part two to this video, and they add any more gifts or any new items, then, uh, then I'm going to post that video, and I'm going to leave a link in the description and in the comment section down below pinned comment the very top comment you can just click on it if it's down there but yeah i hope this video helped you out uh, i hope i hope that you can get as many gifts as you can i hope you have a lot of money you can get some gifts or even if you don't just try and get as many gifts as you can um and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually get uh, a few truckloads full of stuff and i'm gonna give it to people for christmas you know Spread, spread joy, you know, give, that's what Christmas is all about, just giving stuff to people, <laughs> giving free stuff to people, but, um, yeah, I hope you, I hope this video helped you, if I missed anything, or, any, or anything you want to comment down in the comment section below, go ahead, feel free to, uh, 
so, yeah, if, also, if you have any questions, I'll try and reply to those as quickly as possible. But, uh, yeah, I hope this video helped you out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and have happy holidays, of course. Happy New Year, of course. You know, you get, you get the point. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss another video when I upload one. And as always, have a great day. And I will see you in my next video, everybody. Goodbye, and happy holidays. Oh, 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 oh,